You know this card. You probably heard about the recent update that was done on their welcome bonus. But the question is, do you know how much that new welcome bonus can be worth to you? Welcome back to Tito's Financial Corner, where we talk about credit cards, points and miles, as well as travel. This video is going to be short and to the point. The card that we'll be talking about today is the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. We already went ahead and did a full review that you can check out right here. And also, this was actually my first YouTube video, so if you want to see something cringeworthy, go ahead and watch that video. <laughs> So like I said, this is going to be a short one. What we're going to be talking about today is the new welcome bonus that the Chase Sapphire Preferred offers. As of this recording, the welcome bonus got increased from 60,000 all the way up to 80,000 ultimate reward points after spending $4,000 in the first three months that you have this credit card. That's right, a whole 80,000 UR points you would get back with this credit card that only has an annual fee of $95. This welcome bonus offer of 80,000 UR points used to be an in-branch only promotion, but recently that got upgraded to having anybody and everybody that's applying for this credit card be eligible for this new higher welcome bonus. So with that said, you know the new welcome bonus is 80,000 points. The point of this video is, do you know what that 80,000 points can be worth? we'll go ahead and go over a couple of different redemption offers that Chase would allow you to do and which one might be better suited for you. We're gonna go from the lowest point valuation to the highest. So the first redemption option that you can do is either cashing in your UR points for Amazon transactions or PayPal transactions. You would be able to transfer your points and you would be able to use them as quote unquote cash that you can utilize for your transactions. Now, the current cent per point valuation that you would get using this method is 0.8 cents per point. So that's right, you wouldn't even get a penny per point with this specific scenario. You would only be getting 0.8 of a full cent. So if we would take a look at the full welcome bonus of 80,000 points and we would cash them out for PayPal or Amazon transactions, they would be worth $640, which, hey, $640, that's a good amount, but you can get a whole lot more with different options. The next option would be to cash them out completely. Whether that's getting a statement credit or a deposit into your account, you could cash your ultimate reward points and you would get a one cent per point valuation. So that's right, one UR point would equal to be one cent or a penny. So if we would take a look at the welcome bonus of 80,000 ultimate reward points, the cash value that you would be looking at would be $800. And to me, this is the minimum redemption value that you should cash in your points. I know some other channels might be talking about a 1.5 to a 2 cent per point valuation. I'm just happy if I can get 1 cent per point. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to get a higher cent per point valuation, but speaking for myself, I'm quite content with 1 cent per point. The next redemption option is gift cards. That's right, you would be able to cash in your ultimate reward points for gift cards. Now, usually you will get a 1 cent per point valuation, so you would be looking at $800 for the welcome bonus of 80,000 ultimate reward points. However, from time to time, Chase will have different offers where they will give you a 10% to a 20% increase on your points. As an example, right now, they are currently running a promotion of 10% on all Ulta gift cards. Now, obviously, Tito doesn't need any new colognes, but Mrs. Tito might be looking for a new fragrance. So I would definitely want to take a look into getting these gift cards with Mother's Day rolling around. So if we would look at that additional 10%, you would be looking at a 1.1 cent per point valuation, which is just a little bit better than the cash-in redemption offer. So we would look at the welcome bonus of 80,000 ultimate reward points and see what the cash value would be worth. We would be looking at $880. The next option would be travel, but this would be travel done directly through Chase's travel portal. As we cover the in-depth review of the Chase Sapphire Preferred card, you would get a 25% boost on your points if you would use them to book travel through Chase's travel portal. Whether that's flight tickets or hotel rooms, you would get that 25% boost. Meaning 
that the valuation would be a 1.25 cents per point valuation. So we would look at the welcome bonus offer of 80,000 ultimate reward points that would equal out to be $1,000 in cash value. Now that is a better redemption offer from all the previous ones that we've already covered. The last redemption offer is obviously travel, but this is trouble done through Chase's transfer partners. As we covered in the in-depth review of the Chase Sapphire Preferred card, this little old $95 a year card would allow you to transfer your ultimate reward points out to the transfer partners, and you would get a one-to-one -one value. Meaning if you're transferring one ultimate reward points, it would equal out to being one Hyatt point. Or if you're transferring a one ultimate reward point, it would be the same as one United mile. So when we're looking at traveling through the transfer partners, obviously you're gonna get different options and different redemption offers, but usually people will get at least a two cent per point valuation. Now you can easily find three to four cents uh, when looking at Hyatt stays, and you can look at an even higher redemption offers if you're looking to utilize flying blue to fly over to Europe from the US. But if we're looking at a floor rate of two cents per point valuation, which again is very attainable, the welcome bonus of 80,000 ultimate reward points would equal out to being at least $1,600 worth of value. So that's right. That is a very nice size redemption offer. That is a very nice redemption value for just the welcome bonus before you start adding any of the points that you would garner with this Chase credit card or any of the other Chase credit cards that you would add to the Chase trifecta if you're looking to add that to your arsenal. So with that said, as you can see, there's so many different options that you could get value out of these points. And again, the 80,000 welcome bonus offer is a great addition to a great credit card. I would say unless you have to use the airport lounges, Honestly, the Chase Sapphire Preferred card would be a better option than the Chase Sapphire Reserve card in my personal view. With that said, that welcome bonus is still out there. You can get it one of two ways. You can just go to Chase's website and apply directly through there. Or the other option is go to the description below and use my referral link to also get that welcome bonus. Is there gonna be a difference between uh, either option? No. But since you're already here, you might as well use the referral link. I'm just saying, you know, I could get a little something back if you use it. But again, no pressure at all. But with that said, I want to hear from you guys. Do you think that with this new increased welcome bonus offer, that this is the best time to apply for the Chase Sapphire Preferred card? Or do you believe that there's a better card out there? With that said, if you found any information useful during this video, please hit that subscribe button as well as that like button. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Adios.